Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, welcome to you know another edition of WFSO's Top Ten. Um, this time we're gonna do it a little bit different. It's gonna be in two parts. So one part will be you know this week, and you're gonna hear looks at the other part next week. So part one is gonna be you know um, my top ten of the current roster of the WWE men's. Um, as you see on here, they kind of updated the roster in the way they kind of didn't. So I'm gonna try to do the best way that I can can. Then, like I'm gonna start with the men first. Then you're gonna see next week when you're gonna do the um, women top ten. Then, you know, grade them and stuff. But um, the rule, the only rule that I'm gonna do with this one, like when it comes to like um, like male tag teams, that um, if not many tag teams that went, you know, like had like a one-on-one -on -one match or anything like that I'm not gonna have you know like AOP like I'm not gonna put them on um, on here or not gonna grade them because of they mostly been in time to tag team kinda same thing with the now called the Roar Raiders like I know you know cause they've been out for like you know most of this year so I'm not gonna include them either but um Oh, I'm not going to add or Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows either. I'm not going to add them into this mix. So, I'm not going to grade them. So, most likely you're going to see me grading, um, you know, the current roster from, like, my top 10. Because my top 10 would be in the S, and I'm going to try my best to put them in order. Then you're going to see, after the top 10, you see me grading them from, like, you know, A to D. So, um, what we're going to do first is... um. Cause there are some people that's on this roster, but but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna like grade them from you know what they did so far this year. Um, no, no matter of fact, like who's currently not on the roster that's on here, I'm not going even gonna put them up there. I, I probably will grade them, but I'm not gonna put them like in my top ten or whatever. Just gonna be mostly based on what they've done like this year so far. So um, let's look at the, um, let's see, top 10, top 10, top 10. Oh God. Um, oh wow, this is gonna be a little bit harder than I thought for grading, you know, my top 10. So like I said, we're doing the men's first. Um, oh yeah, I'm not gonna add the Street Profits on here either, so or pretty deadly. Um, yeah, this is hard to like figure out who's gonna be your top ten of the men's of this year. But um, let's see. This is really tough. Um, yeah, I'm a you no, know, I'm a punk for doing this, but um, put Cody Rose is number one. Um, let's see, put Roman Reigns is number two. So one two. Uh, who else? Um, do three. There's Randy Orton. Uh, let's see, four. I have to put Jay Uso in here. I have to. Like all the stuff he does this year. Although him and Jimmy were a tag team, but they mainly, you know, did their like own solo thing. So, four and. Brian Breaker, stuff he did in NXT and plus what he does today and you no know, going after, you know, Jey Uso trying to get back his IC title. Um, so let's see, that's five. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's somebody else I'm looking for here too, but. Oh yeah, I had to put him up there. Although, you know, I can't stand his fans. Well, some of his fans. But I can put him up here too in that CM Punk. Uh, so that's 
So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I uh, got to put the most hated person in WWE, Dominic Mysterio. So there we go. That's number seven. Um, now let's see who will be good enough to be up at number eight. Um, oh, there you are. Damien Priest, number eight. Let's see, two more. Two more, two more, two more. Let's see, and plus, you know, I had to be fair and let's see. And they even got, you know, managers on here, which is like kind of funny. Um, do Seth Rollins as number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see, number ten in the males. Um, I will put Ricochet on this, but he hasn't, you know, had like a full year in Duh. LA Knight. So, I got Cody Rose, number one, Roman Reigns, number two, Randy Orton, number three, Jay Uso, number four, um, Braun Breaker, number five. CM Punk number six, Dominic Mysterio seven, Damian Priest eight, Seth Rollins nine, and LA Knight ten. Um, now, like I said, I'm not gonna put like any person that only like like Rick would say like he's not currently on the roster. Bobby Lashley, of course, he's gone, so I'm not gonna put him on the roster. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna do anything with the tag teams. But um, I'm gonna you know start we start with AJ Styles. Um, I know he hasn't had that much of a good year, but I'm gonna just put him as a C because I know he'll get better. But right now I just have to put him there. There's Andrade. There you go. I was looking for you, but you know I put you up there in A. So since you've returned, you've been doing pretty good. Um. Let's see. I think that's Austin Theory, but right now he's been mostly in the tag team, so I'm not going to include him. Um, Bronson Reed, yeah, I had to add you in there. So, been doing doing good. Um, yeah, um, Quentin Grimes, um. Yeah, I can't put him on there because he's only been there. Carmelo Hayes, yeah, they gotta put you on here. So you, yeah, they are gonna give you your time. So I had to put you as a, a B. Let's see. Um, Chad Gable, <laughs> you gotta be up there. So. Future champion won't be stuck in like in the tag team or anything like that. Um, let's see, Dragon Lee, yeah, you up there too in A. Um, Drew McIntyre, although you wasn't in my top ten, but you're still up there, one of the um, best. Um, I think that's, yeah, I think that's, um, Finn Balor, but I'm not going to put him up there because he's been, well, he does done some solo matches, but, um, we'll just put him here. I guess Kane, you know, complain much about it. Um, JD Madonna, should I even put him on there? Uh, right now, I think I'm going to put him as a C. Um, who else? Jimmy Uso. He done some solo matches, but um, I know you're gonna work his way up a little bit, so I had to pay, give him a C. 
Um, I think that's carrying cross. Um, they need to use him a little bit more, and I like the little stirring ups he's doing with certain people so far. So, but you know, the final testament hasn't been used that much in the in a while. So, but then again, had to put him as a B. Um, trying to think who else. Um, Kim Owens. Uh, yeah, although you don't like the betrayal and stuff like that, but um. You know, some big things, you know, hopefully coming from him. But I know, like, his contract is going to be out soon. Um, if it is by this recording, it probably already has. But, yeah, I'll put you as a B right now. Um, let's see. Logan Ball. I know I'm going to get the coffee in a minute, but um, didn't like. No, 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 I'm going to. Great athlete, but um, hopefully, you know, like their rumors claim that, you know, next year he's going to go full time. So we'll see about that. So maybe, you know, next year, if we do this again, my opinion would change. Kofi Kingston, um, yeah, I'll put you up there as a B. I know you've been tattooing too, but you had done some um, solo matches. Um, Omos, oh my God. The only reason I'm putting you down there as a D because they haven't been using you. And yeah, you're better than that. Uh, Pete Dunn. I like how they've been using you as a late, so that's good. Um, Otis, um, I know you've been in some tag team matches, but you've done some solo matches. But yeah, I'm going to put you right there because I know they need to do more with you. Our truth you're hilarious, although you have been, you know, out for some time, but yeah, I gotta put you up there. Um let's see who else I'm missing. Although I put Louis Kaiser up there already. I guess not. Um but anyways, we'll You gotta win the title. You gotta win at least like a solo title or something. Just, you know, the proof is worthy. But otherwise, you know, you got to separate himself from um, Gunter. Speaking of Gunter, I didn't even see him on here. I'm sorry, guys, but I don't even see Gunter. Did I put him up there? My, no, he's not in the top 10. Yeah, they ain't even got him on this list. So, what's going on? That kind of sucks. Um. Yeah, I would have thought they would, you know, put him on this list, but they didn't. No, which kind of sucks. So, Rare Mysterio. Leader in W.O., but, um, let's see, where to put you? Yeah, put you up there in the B. They gotta give, like, the L.W.O., like, some wins. Rich Holland, oh, I'm not gonna do him because he's in NXT right now. So, Santos Escobar, um, they need to do more with you, too. Uh, I'll just put you right there in the C. Uh, Zemi Zayn, um, hey, be Gunter, but sad that you had like a not that long for Intercontinental Championship reign, so and you did good like going against Gunter for the World Heavyweight Championship match, um, you know, last month, so why not? Um, let's see who else, Sheamus. Of course, they need to do more with you too. Um, put you up there because you know they need to put more with you. Yeah, they didn't use you that much in either since case, so I'm kind of disappointed. Not in you, but with them. Okay, um, so Sakoa. 
Let's see what to do with you. Yeah, I'll put you up there. Give him B. Okay, now let's see. Uh, the Miz. I thought I put him up there, or I didn't. I didn't. Well, I swore I thought I did, but I guess not. But anyways, um... Did win the tag team titles, and, you know... Some things to come, so... Don't worry, I will put you higher than that, but no, this time I had to put you as a B. Um... Tyler Bate sucks that you got injured but um I'll put you there and see like I said um Tommaso Champion I know also um Johnny Gargano they ain't put y'all that much in um solo matches so not gonna add you guys in there but um Let's see. The yeah, only person left on the current roster they claim is Xavier Woods. Um, that kind of sucks. So, Xavier Woods, I do kind of like what they're doing with you, and hopefully, you know, they push you up. So, hopefully, you know, all that stuff works out, or sooner or later. Who knows? Um, but yeah, that's it for the men. So, um, I better see the men that's going to like, you know, you know, one-on-one -on -one matches, stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to put, um, Giovanni uh, Vinci up there, but no matter of fact, he did, he did have a few, um, solo matches. So yeah, it's just, they didn't do enough with you either. Um, I think that's Akira Kizawa. <laughs> yeah, they did a little, but it's just not enough on some of the you know, solo matches. So, you know, this kind of sucks. Carlito, yeah, I gotta put him up there too. I know you've done some solo matches. Um, yeah, to put you at the C. Um, and Apollo Crews, I don't understand what you know they're trying to do with you. and Hopefully, you know, it get better, but for now, I'll put you as a B, but I will put you higher, but they haven't put you in that many matches. So, let's see, I think that's really uh, pretty much it. So, just to keep it that way. So, That'd be it for the men's. Um, what are y'all thoughts about this? Um, I know they're probably missing, you know, some like pieces and stuff in there for the, you know, guys. So, which is kind of weird. So, do y'all like my ranking or my grading in my top 10? So, just let me know. Um, like I said, part two of this will be coming out next week. Um, and we, and part two will be the women. So, you know, Gotta reset this and you know prepare for this. Um, but yeah, it should be interesting. Um, please comment below on your own choices. Um, also, please like the video if you like content like this. Give it a like. Um, also, we got over two thousand videos, so you know check them out. Um, interesting in like wrestling or basketball, like the Milwaukee Bucks, or just any you know content that we have on here check it out um also thank our sponsor to toy dimension so um interested in the store that they have like comic books collectibles um fungal pops and stuff like that so interested in that check out their facebook page and if you're in milwaukee area check out their store 5925 west north avenue so more information if you want to be a sponsor of WFSO, 
or anything like that, just um, check out the website, wrestlingfanspeakout.weebly.com. Also, you can check out upcoming events. And, yeah, it's getting big. You know, just had, you know, SmackDown here recently and also, you know, other big events and we got like another one like coming up for like a big event and another one in a couple of weeks that's going on in Wisconsin. So just check those pages out, um, like upcoming events and stuff like that and meet and greets and stuff. So get a chance, check it out. Um, I know Thanksgiving is very close. So for you guys, like happy Thanksgiving and thanks for watching once again until the next video. Y'all have a good one.